Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. Today we have another big one. This is the Dazzo pickup and this has been installed by the creator Teddy Randazzo himself into this Martin 0018E behind me. So this is a sandboard transducer pickup and it's passive so there's no batteries in this. Remember people like the sandboard pickups because there's nothing under the saddle of the acoustic guitar and they tend to sound more realistic because they're listening to the entire top of the guitar, or at least more of the top of the guitar than a underset pickup would hear. They also tend to be very good for percussive playing because they pick up a lot of the body sound of the guitar. So this is a passive sandboard transducer pickup, and it comprises of two triangular shaped 3D piezo pickups that are glued to the bridge plate of the guitar inside. There's a few things to bear in mind with this system. There's different versions of it. So in my guitar, Teddy installed the 60 version. There's also a 70, 80, etc. I believe they advise you to go with the 70 if you're unsure, but basically each one will give you a different bass response. So in a larger guitar, you might want less bass response because there's naturally low end there. And on a smaller guitar, you might want more bass response because there's less low end there or you may just want to tailor it to the situation that you're in. So this is pretty cool. It adds another layer of potential complexity. It also means you can customize what you want in your guitar. Like I said, if you have any questions, just call Dazzo and ask them for their advice. So of course, this can be installed by anyone. This was installed by Teddy, and I think it's really cool that you can send your guitar to the creator of a pickup system and have them do the installation for you. But I'm sure anyone that's experienced could do this as well just find someone that's used to installing a pickup like the K&K &K or similar. So far I've found that this pickup sounds good into anything I've plugged it into, but I have noted before on the channel that Dazzo are working with Sun Audio and I've reviewed the Sun Audio preamps. So if you are considering a Dazzo pickup, I would suggest you look into the Sun Audio preamp. I have one here. This is the Stage DI2. There is now a new version and I have a review of this on my channel. And at the end of the video, I'll play you this pickup through here as well, just so you can check it out. Like I said, it doesn't seem that fussy what you plug it into. The K&K &K seems more fussy to me. But whenever you show up to a venue and you don't know what you're plugging into, a passive pickup could potentially have a problem. So I would advise you to get a good DI if you're getting a pa any passive pickup. And the Sun Audio DI does pair very well with this one. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do as always, is play you the acoustic guitar through my Neumann microphone. Remember, I'm playing the same thing as in my other pickup reviews and demos because I want you to be able to compare them back to back. And also, please remember not to compare this sound directly to the pickup sound. It's not fair. No pickup sounds like a Neumann microphone and probably never will. Well, maybe it will do one day if we're really lucky. But anyway, let's get on with it. Here is the guitar through the Neumann microphone and then we'll try out the pickup directly into the audio interface. Okay, so you heard the guitar there. It's a small body Martin. It is mahogany back and sides. Do bear that in mind. Remember, these pickups all sound different depending on the guitar that I use. I don't always use the same guitar. It would be better if I did, but it'd be very difficult to do that. So all the guitars are slightly different. Do bear that in mind each time. But let's hear the guitar direct now. You've heard the guitar through the microphone, the Neumann microphone. Let's hear this microphone turned off and just the pickup going straight into my interface.
I'm pretty impressed. I've got to say, the string balance is even. The tone is more natural than an undersaddle pickup. There doesn't seem to be excessive bass. Now, like I said, inside here, we're using the 60. If Teddy had used the 70 or the 80, there'd be more bass. Now, you might want that, but do remember, when you pick up this part of the guitar, you may get that feedback on stage. So I think for a stage guitar, this would be a good option. You can always boost the low end if you need to with a preamp. Then I think this is the way to go. Like I said, consider these things. You might think it's good that you can select the number of the bass response you have installed in the guitar. You might think it adds another level of complexity. I say if there's any doubt, just go with the 70. You should be fine. Now, it doesn't sound like a microphone, but what I've found with these systems is they work really well with a microphone. Sun Audio make a preamp, which I also reviewed, where you can connect a small condenser mic, which is powered by the preamp, and also the pickup inside as well. You still get a very lightweight solution with a very natural sound. So definitely check out my review of that preamp. I'll put a link below so you can see that later on. My feeling with this is, it seems to be very similar to the K&K. I would say it's slightly higher fidelity. It's a bit more realistic than a K&K. I would say the cons are, obviously it's more expensive and there's less installers around to install it. Like I said earlier, I'm sure anyone can do it or you could ship your guitar to Teddy, which I think is probably a great idea. Let him do it. Let him or Sun Audio do it. I think that's a good way to go. Or find a local person that's experienced with installing this system. Of course, there is glue in the guitar. Some people don't like that. Some people would rather use tape like in other pickups I've covered on the series but the glue does mean you get that strong connection and if it's done right and you're gonna keep it in the guitar forever, I think that's okay to go that route. But again, that's up to you. So before I go, a couple of things. First of all, if you'd like me to compare this directly to the K&K &K and the Trans Amulet soundboard transducers in the video, let me know in the comments below. And also, since I have a Sun Audio Stage DI here, Let's plug into that to see if it enhances the sound further. Remember, it's not all about enhancing the sound. It's also about having that additional gain because I am cranking the gain on my interface almost to maximum. So this, it, this DI would allow you to not have to do that. It would give you a gain boost before you hit your amp or your mixer or your interface and some controls to add bass, middle and treble as well. It also has a solo boost and a mute switch which might be useful to you as well. But let's see if it actually changes the actual sonic character of the pickup using this. Just, for, just because I have it here. Let's see what happens. Now I'm going to cut some of those mids out and add some bass and treble. 